Hello everyone, welcome back to the 4Play channel. I'm Bella. I'm Jace. Before we get into today's video, make sure to leave this video a like. It really, really helps us out. Subscribe so you never miss when we post a video. And if you guys have any questions about this video or if there's any videos you want to see from us in the future, make sure to leave a comment down below so we can get to those. <laughs> Today's video is all about the downsides of swinging. So we do know that we talk a lot about the positives, which we do think that overall the positives do outweigh the negatives, but it's not always rainbows and butterflies. So we did want to go into some of the downsides of the swinging lifestyle. So the biggest thing that you're going to run into is that it is not accepted in society normally. At this time, it is still shunned by society. We haven't got to that point where everyone is just okay with people being out and being non-monogamous ethically. But that's one of those things that, you know, making these videos and making podcasts and we're trying to do everything we can to normalize it as much as we can and break this stigma so that people can see that, hey, we're just normal people too. But at this time, it's still definitely, sh it's shunned in society. We have friends who have lost custody of their children. We know people who have lost jobs all because they say they're non-monogamous, which makes no sense whatsoever. To, to us at all. That is one of the biggest things that you do have to take in consideration when you're, you're being out about being a swinger anyway. I mean, if you don't tell anyone, there is so much discretion in the lifestyle. So if you don't want it to be well known, it's, it's pretty easy to keep it kind of on the down low, but you're gonna be out about it. That is one thing that you're gonna face is some criticism from the outside world. In general, because this is still such a taboo type of alternative lifestyle, it's not seen as normal in general, you are going to come across a lot of mean people, especially if you're out. Again, if you keep it private, then you know what people don't know, they're not gonna say anything, but you do have to have really thick skin if you do want to be your true selves and be out. You do have to realize there's a possibility that your family or your close friends might not accept you for this. And to us, we think that it's more of a, if you're not gonna accept us for who we are, for doing something that makes us happy, that doesn't hurt anybody, that only brings us stronger and it's ethical, it's ethically non-monogamous, then for us, we just wanna surround ourselves with people who are going to love us for who we are. So we don't necessarily think that's always a bad thing, but do know that that is a possibility too. Now, if you're gonna put yourselves out online like we do, you really have to have thick skin because we get hate comments all the time. There's always going to be people shutting you down, shutting down your relationship, saying you guys don't love each other, really just seeing it as lesser than monogamy. And it, it just isn't like that, but do know it is a possibility. The next thing we're going to talk about, we view as a downside, but also an upside. The arguments and conversations that you're going to have. Now, we're not saying that every person that goes on lifestyle is going to have a ton of arguments or fights between them and their partner, but you do realize whenever you're getting into this, you're going to have new conversations. You're gonna open up new doors. When you're bringing the idea of other people into your relationship, there's so much trust and communication that has to go into that. And especially at the beginning when you're working on your communication skills, it's very easy to mess up. Our first few years in the lifestyle, we had so many little arguments and tips and things like that because we weren't communicating well enough and we weren't always explaining how we felt well enough. And it's not like we weren't trying, but it's just hard sometimes. And so that's one thing that it is a downside because you probably are gonna have those little fights and arguments and working through things. But that's the beauty because once you work through those things, you have all this new love and appreciation and communication skills and trust. And it's all of these things that make your relationship so much stronger. But in those beginning stages, it definitely can be a little hard at times whenever you are having those conversations that are are tougher. They are tough conversations and no one is saying that they're not. So make sure just to keep working through them, try to stay level-headed in those conversations, work together. You'll work through all those issues and you come out on the other side so much stronger. Jealousy is also an emotion that's going to come up. It is, again, something that you can work past, something you can work through, but it is a normal emotion that will come up a lot in the lifestyle. And we do have a whole entire video on how to deal with jealousy. So after you finish watching this video, if you want to learn a little bit how to deal with jealousy, we'll have that video linked down below. Another less talked about down side is the price. So being in the lifestyle, it is not cheap. It is pretty expensive, honestly, to get into clubs and to go to these specialty charter cruises or resorts. You're paying a premium price to do something because it's not normalized yet. To go to clubs, you're going to need to pay a membership price and then on top of that, a door fee. And then you're paying extra because these companies are buying out every single room on a cruise ship. And so, I mean, they have to make money from that too. And so just know that it isn't cheap and buying new outfits if you wanna dress on theme or if you 
want to get something new or taking care of your body and doing all of those kinds of things uh, it definitely is a pricey lifestyle yeah and if you have children and you need babysitters yeah. there's so many little different things to add up but to us all the costs outweigh it and we understand why it costs more because it is providing an experience that you can't get just by going to a normal place. It's catered for you. And so there's a lot of things like that that really make all of those prices worth it, in our opinion. Being single and the lifestyle is also an issue that can come up sometimes for people. Now, if you want to know all about how to really get introduced to a group and get really involved in lifestyle as a single male or a single female, we have videos about both of those listed down below. But that is something that is also a little bit difficult because there is stigma, especially with single males in the lifestyle, that could make it a little bit more difficult for you at the beginning when you're getting involved in a group. And not all couples are good couples, and so some couples might try to take advantage of someone who is single in the lifestyle, so be careful with that too. One thing we're gonna touch about really quick because I know if we don't say it, people are gonna say, how do you not say this? That's the discussion of STIs. If you are sexually active, you have, and you have multiple partners, you have a higher chance of getting STIs. With that being said, people in the lifestyle and the general rule take very good care of themselves. Protection is very, very prevalent in the lifestyle. And so for us, we always use protection. We always practice safe sex. So with STIs, no matter if you're a single and you're just out there flirting in the vanilla world or you're in the lifestyle with a partner, you always are gonna have that risk of having more partners. But for us, we really don't think that it is any more likely to get an STI being a swinger than you would be just going out and having random hookup type culture that you would at a normal bar or club. In general, people in the lifestyle or people in open relationships do take better care of their sexual health just because there's a better communication. People are more open. People are more trusting with their own partners and with other people. And so with that, they put their sexual health at a priority. We think one of the biggest downsides, and this is something that we truly hope and truly needs to get better and the lifestyle needs to do better with, is the stigma of bisexual men. For some reason, there is shame put upon bisexual men in the lifestyle from not only other men, but also from women in the lifestyle. And it's so frustrating, especially because they seem to glorify bisexual women. But when it comes to bisexual men, they don't think it's okay. And that is completely wrong. It doesn't make any sense. I really don't understand as a group of open-minded people who are sexually open-minded as well, how anyone in the lifestyle could shun anybody based off their sexuality or choices like that. It really makes no sense to us. We've had friends who told us that the male was bi and he says, but you know, normally I always say that I'm straight first until I get really comfortable with someone and then I'll tell somebody. And to us, the fact that so we're in this community that's supposed to be open-minded, that people are still scared to say that they're bi if they're a male, but like Bella said, it's almost expected in a sense, if you're a female to be bi, it just makes no sense to us. And it's one of the things that we think needs to change the most is that we need to have it so everyone's sexual preferences are respected and are viewed as equal. And we just really don't understand how this community has not gotten there yet. And with that expectation of women being bi in the lifestyle, that's an issue in itself. So just like bisexual men shouldn't be shunned for being bisexual, women shouldn't be expected to be bisexual. And that's vice versa too. And so it definitely needs to change. And it's something that we really are sad about the lifestyle that we haven't gotten to that point yet. So that is all the negatives that we could really come up with. We try to think for a while and cover everything, but overall the lifestyle is so great. We've just had such amazing experiences. We met so many amazing friends and we cannot be more thankful to be a part of this lifestyle and also to be able to educate and help other people learn about this lifestyle. What it's done for us as a couple for our relationship has been incredible and I feel like all of the negative parts that come with it can't even compare to how much joy and how much positivity and how much we've been able to grow. So that is it for this video. Thank you guys so so much for watching. So if you guys have any comments or questions about this video if there's maybe something that's a negative that we didn't cover make sure to drop that down in the comments so the other people can learn and we can have a conversation down there make sure to like this video subscribe so you never miss when we post a video and we will see you guys in the next one bye